In this video, I show how to create a simple stylized box using Maya and Substance 3D Painter. This is a good model exercise for beginners. Alright, let's get to it. Since this is a fairly simple model, I would advise even those who are not Maya users to try and make it. So if you happen to be a Blender user or beginner, I totally think you should be able to follow along. So for this model, because it's more or less a box, I started out by using a box primitive. I added some edge loops using the multi-cut tool in Maya and selected some of the sections. These were extruded by using the extrude tool. This gives our box a little bit more depth. It is important, even when working with very simple shapes, that you try to create points of interest in your model. That can be model details or details added to texturing. In this case, those simple details are added in the modeling phase. I added some extra details by using another box and making some changes. This portion gives more interest to the bottom of the box. Next, I proceeded to extrude the top and added a cylinder which you can essentially use to open the box container. I also added some more extrusions to give the box more silhouette changes. One last thing I did was to also weld together the top handle with the rest of the box. I did this in order to avoid an abrupt transition between the handle and the rest of the box. After the model was done, I proceeded to create the UVs for it. I typically use the same process to UV almost everything I work on, and that is to apply a planar map to the whole model in order to reset any existing UVs. Apply UV cuts to areas where there is a near 90 degree angle change, and then use the unfold tool to clean up any distortion on the model. I also like to manually pack UVs whenever the layout tool doesn't do a good job as well. For the low poly model, I also like to use an auto smoothing loops script which sets the normals as hard edges wherever there is a UV cut near 90 degrees. Before exporting the low poly, I also make sure to rename all the pieces with the underscore low suffix in order to bake using mesh names in Substance Painter. For the high poly, I simply duplicated the low poly group, changed the names of the meshes to use the underscore suffix underscore high, and added some bevels to the edges. Before exporting, I also smoothed the meshes so the beveling was applied. You could also set it to smooth on export in the export settings. In Substance Painter, I loaded the low and high poly models and baked using mostly the standard settings. With the latest version of Substance, it's also a lot easier to preview your low poly and high poly in the bake settings. After baking my maps, I applied the 3DX stylized Smart Material 2.0 to the model. You can find this material in the video description. I changed some of the colors as well as the amount of roughness and metallic for the main body of the model. I also added an emissive channel and an emissive layer to give the interior of the box some illumination and more visual interest. I had applied a different material to this section to the high poly before exporting and used that as an ID map in Painter in order to mask that section. 
I also added a bit of color variation by using a mask and a noise layer with the painter. The last thing I did was to add just a bit more roughness and color variation to the model. After that I called this one done. Here is the render for it using a real time renderer such as Marmoset 2 back. I hope you liked this video even though it's really simple, I hope that there was something here that was new to you. If you liked the video I invite you to take a look at the channel for more videos like this one. Also if you would like to learn how to make a low poly stylized environment within Unreal 5, there is a link to that in the video description. Thank you all and I hope to see you in the next one. Would you like to learn the process for making simple stylized environments from scratch? Well you see making something like this is actually really simple. All you need is a 3D modeling program such as Maya or Blender and put it all together in Unreal 5, which is free to use. Hey this is only a 45 second ad so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. Click on the link below now and I will show you the exact process I used to make this simple environment. When you click that link I will show you the steps for making an environment like this one in very little time. I will be showing you the modeling, block out of the level in Unreal 5, and also how to set up things like grass and leaves as well as the final lighting for your level. Like I said, this is a short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything here. Click the link below now so I can show you the steps. Also I don't know how long this will be up for, so click the link below now so you don't miss out.